Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jamson Entertainment. And today on Throwback Thursday, I, I just saw Mandy, and... Wow. <laughs> I, I, I told myself in the beginning of this movie, I think I'm going to have to watch this twice, just to get it. I don't think I can watch it back to back like that this this movie is an experience i wish i saw it in theaters mandy came out in the end credits said 2017 but i i saw on the internet it said 2016 so maybe it was filmed in 2016 despite that this is an 80s death metal horror revenge story Oh my god. Whew. <laughs> I'm still processing. This... I haven't seen a whole lot of Nicolas Cage movies, but from the ones I have seen, this is his best movie. Wow. Does he bring a performance to this. So, the basic plot, this couple in love have their lives interrupted by this cult of six people a call on these this movie only has one scene of exposition it has and it doesn't really explain much and <laughs> as you can see I'm still baffled by it because I I just watched a movie so I'm still processing and I'm still in awe <laughs> but this this cult calls on these three biker demons for lack of better term to snatch up Nicholas Cage's, I guess, girlfriend, because in the credits they don't have the same last name, so I guess it's his girlfriend. And it's a cult. The best I can describe it is kind of like um, Charles Manson's group, but on a smaller scale, and they traveled. I guess Charles Manson's. I don't know much about the the Helter Skelter Charles Manson. But that's a, the, the first real-world thing I could think of to analogize for this. And, well, I, I said it's a revenge story, so... <laughs> wow, this movie is brutal! So brutal! Oh my god. And, and its use of lighting, sound, editing is... The only word that comes to mind is masterful. This this movie just takes you to another place. I really wish I saw this in theaters. This is such an experience. <laughs> I think the writers were on acid when they wrote this, and the the def and the director for sure was on acid when he directed this, <laughs> Be because of the lighting, sound, and editing in this movie. So trippy. So trippy. As you can tell, I'm having problems finding words for this. <laughs> I definitely would not want to watch this movie. If it, if that's your thing, I wouldn't watch this movie high. This this movie would probably scar you if you watch this high. I'll go into more details of how this movie uses lighting and colors. There's a scene in the beginning of the movie where Nicolas Cage and his girlfriend in this movie go to lay down for bed. And they're just talking, and this neon pink, purple, red mix kind of comes over them. And what it's doing is foreshadowing, which is just brilliant. I, I, I love how this movie was made. It's difficult to recommend this movie because it's not for everyone. It's extremely experimental, extremely trippy when it comes to the lighting and the colors, and extremely brutal. If you're a Nicolas Cage fan, you'll you'll you will love this movie because he does have his classic freakouts. Not nearly as over the top as some of his other films, but they're there. And this movie does have some laughs. Probably not intentional. Probably intentional. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to give anything away about this movie. If you do watch it, I want you to go in as cold as I did. Because I did see a review of this movie, but... It didn't do it justice. I don't think any review could do this movie justice. You have to watch it. Like I said a few times before, this is an experience. I can recommend this movie if you're like me, who's 
uh, new film buff. I've always loved movies, but ever since I started reviewing movies, I've wanted to broaden my horizons, and <laughs> this movie, they've been broadened all right. Woo! I wonder if there's any other movies like this. Maybe actually back in the early 80s when this is set, there's other messed up movies like this. Wow! If you're a fan of horror, you're going to love this movie. If you're a fan of Nicolas Cage, you're going to love this movie. If you're not a fan of Nicolas Cage or horror, this movie's not for you. <laughs> if this is a horror movie or a Nicolas Cage movie you haven't seen yet, go into the description below and click on the link and get your copy of Mandy. You'll not only be getting a... I don't know how to describe this movie. I mean, wild comes to mind. It's cliched, but far out comes to mind. But you'll also be helping to build an awesome community where we can experience movies like this. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you've seen Mandy and what are your thoughts on it. And if there's any other movies like this that you would recommend for me to watch. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.